Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo for the month of March 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, um, although I am reading for March, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Um, when you are drawn to the video is when you are meant to hear its message. Okay. Um, on the dice. I feel like you're wishing to uh, build something. Um, I feel that you are wishing for someone to return to you. It feels like, I mean, it could be that you're wishing for someone to come into your life, but the person rides out of the past. So I feel like uh, we have the Knight of Cups coming out of the past. Um, so I feel that this is something that either you are wishing for or the other person is, because this could be your energy, but it could be the other person's energy. It could be a situation that you wish to rebuild or restore. It could be that uh, someone from your past uh, still holds power over your emotions. Let's move these. Going to the heart of the reading I have this card of solitude. You'll notice the direction of uh, of her gaze, and it's to the past. And so, this person can be reflecting upon the past. Um, they may be feeling very lonely. They could be longing again for someone from their past. Um, this person could have withdrew from a situation of uh, needing to be alone with their thoughts, possibly. But it's coming with the noose, and the noose is um, a card of anxiety, a card of worry. I have to see what else is here. I look for you everywhere. I don't react when people mention you. So clearly this person is trying to ignore you. Um, I feel like, uh, but yet they absorb everything about you. Yeah, see, they're looking back. Uh, yeah, I keep seeing like they're pretending not to be interested, but they really are. Uh, it's like a sponge that will take it in. Um, um, <clears throat> two of shields. Somebody uh, is looking back at a situation and they're looking back at what they've lost. So that all makes sense here. Oh, okay. Interesting. And so, and they're in reflection on this situation here. So they did something uh, that you weren't expecting. But it was planned. It was planned. This guy was being clever. So he thought he was doing something very clever. You didn't see it coming. And you would have felt betrayed by whatever it is they did. Um, but they thought they were being clever. Um, they left uh, with information, this person, that you don't have. Um, and whatever they did, you didn't see it coming. And you could have felt very much betrayed because the swords are hidden behind the tree. Uh, the, well, the bushes there. Okay. And so now, you see, it's interesting because you see his, his foot is, is about to step into that uh, noose there. And look what we have the noose. So it's almost like uh, this person uh, did something 
they had a plan. Um, they took information. There's something they didn't tell you. Uh, there was some type of plan here, maybe uh, with the glove being here. Maybe they gave an ultimatum. Now they're looking back at what they've lost. Um, so it almost feels like they're reflecting on this scene and they may feel like they've hung themselves, so to speak, because uh, his foot is in the noose there. Uh, so maybe he didn't really think about what he was doing and now he bears the consequences. Um, yeah. So he may have done something. No, I can't say he did it without thinking here because it looks like this could have been planned. Interesting. Getting, running away with something, um, but they're about to step into that noose. Um, he's looking back over his shoulder. So whatever you did, you may have been expecting something. Uh, you or they uh, are expecting the person to come after you or or to or to come back at you with a response or some type of action okay so here he's trying to get away with something but um but it resulted in a loss and he's pretending like it doesn't affect him but it does and clearly, uh, he's hiding this. Yeah, he's hiding it. He's hiding it, and he's not happy. He's in isolation, feeling alone. Okay. At the root of this is... This person could have... Uh, felt like they were in the dark or that they feel like they are in the dark depending where they are in the energy it has to do with a plan some plan that wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, grounded yet it was something that was talked about um, but it it didn't work or somebody was unwilling maybe this person was unwilling uh, or not in agreement uh, with the plan, possibly. Maybe they felt somebody was hiding something. Um, maybe they didn't want uh, any surprises. Or they did something by surprise. No matter, uh, with this king, he has the salamander in his hand. So he's holding this. Um, so he... You did, no, this, this person did something that was, uh, that surprised the other person, took them by surprise. And that's twice we have that message. This is being taken by surprise also. But this person f may have felt the other was keeping them in the dark and threw down the gauntlet. It's like, um. They had to know, and they figured doing it this way was the way. So now it's like they are um, they did whatever they did, and they withdrew because I have the hangman, and I have the snail. Both are cards of withdrawal, and all of these cards represent uh, somebody who is um, feeling alone or is needing time alone. Now. It feels like in this position here, um, they're seeking answers from someone. So they're seeking answers from you, if this is happening that way. <clears throat> it could be that <clears throat> they, they have this information. They're still very attracted to you. They want to come back, but they're afraid 
you uh, won't believe them. One minute, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to get a drink. Now, um, there's still a very, very high attraction between you guys uh, with this night because that's the energy of being swept off your feet, being like under someone's spell. Um, so, although this person pretends, well, it's like I said, it's like they're a sponge when it comes to you. So they pretend like uh, like they're not interested in anything about you, but yet it's almost like a craving. So they would crave to know. You may have had a song or music affects them and makes them think of you because you speak to me through music. Um, I replay our conversations over and over again. All right. Now, it's possible that this is what they are doing in the search for answers, you know, or in the search to try to understand something. And maybe that's what they're trying to do is trying to understand a conversation that took place that was heavily burdening them. The Great Escape. Oh, The Great Escape. Try to work on overcoming, um, and I'm speaking to this person, whether, I mean, it could be you, but it could be the other person. Trying uh, to work on overcoming your fear of rejection. So they have a fear of rejection or a tendency to sabotage or run from relationships the minute they feel insecure and, or they, they get re restless or they become afraid of getting hurt. <clears throat> they fantasize about you. And interestingly, <laughs> Sagittarius had this card, exact card in the same exact position, if that is of any interest to you, um, because maybe you're both fantasizing about the other. So this person, uh, this is a card of fantasy. Um, it is uh, escaping the reality of their situation. Um, and, uh, you know, fantasizing about you dreaming, longing for you. And um, clearly, uh, this is something that happens a lot. And when it happens, um, they try to bury themselves in work to forget you or start doing something else to forget you. Because... Um, there's a great feeling of uh, emptiness and regret here. You see, they're trying to hold back here. They can't find a solution um, here. How to escape this situation that they've put themselves in. Um, this can speak to being unable to manage or feeling unable to manage being very very emotional with the moon so they're trying to hold on to information it's possible that they're they've got something on their conscience it's weighing heavily into the mind into the head uh, with that coin um death is creeping up behind him so it's probably only a matter of time before they're going to have to come forward and um, and get this off their chest, off their mind. I, I, I mean, it's very possible that they are feeling guilty about something said or done. Some deception. Um, something they thought they thought they were being clever. 
they may have thought it was the solution or the answer at the time, but turns out it wasn't. Or the plan, uh, the plan failed, perhaps. So what we have here is the intellect, and this is about um, the things that plague the mind, whether that be, uh, you know, the delights of the mind or um, uh, that which uh, they dread or fear that's plaguing the mind. Um, and that can include uh, guilt, you know. It's about how you, you think, how you plan, how you solve problems trying to understand. I feel that you see, we have two cards of healing up here. Oh, I didn't see this card. <laughs> okay, that's um, something uh, that's going to happen out of the blue. Some shocking event it has to do with this healing card. It could be uh, even, it could be like a sudden wake-up call or awakening, but I don't think so. I think this is something that is going to happen. Uh, possible sudden communication with the bees there. Um, listen, look, I mean, I want you. I mean... That could be what's plaguing the mind. They still want you, you know, um, and they want to heal this. They did this. Um, and now they have to undo it, basically. Um, Something needs to change here. Um, they cannot stay in this energy, or like they're 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 not managing well. So they have to come out of this energy, and, and then and they're feeling very much on edge. This is a um, a time apart card in this deck. Um, and they're down on their knees and they're praying. They're praying. We hear another healing card, um, the Aparela Mantam. Um, so they're down on their knees and they're praying to be able to heal this. They're looking back at what they've done. They are looking back. Yeah, see, and look, that's in the reverse. They there was a plan with two with, with these people. Okay, there was a plan. Um, that's about working together. Okay, um, but it's in the reverse. It didn't work. And they're alone now looking back at what they created. They're looking back at their work. They created that. And they're alone. And so, looking back at what they've lost. Trying to understand it trying to understand what just happened and what they did and how to proceed from here. How to uh, take control of this situation uh, with the emperor here and the chariot. This person wants to talk. They can see the coin, but they don't hold it. I feel like this person is very stubborn and they want the coin. Okay, so um, the world is here um, and I feel like this is like an invitation um, to, I mean, you can either go, uh, close off this cycle, which they cannot do, they've been unable to do it, or uh, go another round and I feel like this is what they want to do but in order to do it they have to themselves take an action and that's where these cards come in 
they're trying to they're they're like trying to judge the feel or the fit of taking that action with the toad see the toad is good luck that's sitting there it's just sitting there waiting for that person to come and pick it up uh, that's the only way i can describe it but to get from there to there it requires an action and that's where the difficulty comes in, is doing the action. So it's having to do something that you may not particularly like, and for them that would be uh, admitting to a deception, right? Maybe they've been trying to find a way around it, a, a way to uh, try to come back without having to do this, and to that end, they may not have found that solution, you know? I mean, the way through this energy is through honesty. So, it's having to do something that you may not particularly like, but doing the task will prove to be rewarding. Doing the task, you get the reward. Yeah. And it's like, ooh, this person has something other than what I've just talked about. They they have something uh, secret. They're, they have a secret that they want to share with you. You'll find out about that later. But I mean, um, this must first happen. They, they must decide uh, to take this action. And for that, they're like, on the fence right now. That's where they currently are. They're sitting there waiting. They want to take the leap. They want to take the leap. They want to take the jump. It won't take much. <laughs> it won't take much for them to just, boom, there they go. And you know what? It's coming. It's coming. It's as simple as that, coming forward and being honest. And we know it is coming. Right now, everything's a little bit up in the air, okay? But uh, I know that it's coming. Somebody is coming after the one that got away, right? Or that they let get away. They want to wipe the, the, the slate clean. Oh, look at that. Page of Pentacles, so this is a kind of a, a lucky break that comes along. So something uh, will uh, will happen here. Yeah, because this little fella he brings luck, and this is some. Yeah, again, there you go. They've got something they want to share with you. That is a part from what they need to tell you, what they need to get off their chest, there's something else here that they need to tell you. Judgment. Here's the decision. It's just to get the courage to do it. And they will. There is definitely a... Uh, there's definitely a decision to come forward, to wipe the slate clean, to tell you something. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.